The 2022 Laver Cup was the fifth edition of the Laver Cup, a men's tennis tournament between teams from Europe and the rest of the world. It was held on an indoor hard court at the O2 Arena in London, England from 23 until September 25. This tournament marked the retirement of 20-time singles major champion and former singles world number one, Roger Federer. The former champion alongside longtime rival Rafael Nadal was narrowly defeated in the third set super tiebreak against Jack Sock and Francis Tiafoe. Team World won the title for the first time. Career Junior Tennis Root reached the third round of the 2015 French Open Boys singles event, losing to Corentin Dinoli. He also reached the third round of the 2015 U.S. Open Boys Singles and the second round of the 2015 Wimbledon Boys Singles, his best singles performances in the respective competitions in Junior Grand Slams. In the 2015 Wimbledon Boys Doubles, Rude made it to the semifinals together with partner Maya Merkmanovic, before losing to eventual champions Lee Huang Nam and Summit Nagel. They were eliminated in the first round of the 2015 U.S. Open Boys Doubles. In 2016, Rude and Kmanovic reached the semifinals of the 2016 French Open Boys Doubles before losing to Youssef Hassam and Jarebek Karamov. 2016, Junior No. 1 and Professional Debut Rude started the year as the world No. 1 ranked junior player on January 4 making him the first Norwegian to do so. For the 2016 season, Rude set his goals on playing futures tournaments and start climbing the ADP rankings. In February, he played his first futures final, which he ended up winning against Carlos Taberner in Pagueira, Spain. He has since played four more finals, winning one of them against Mikhail Torpgaard in Karina, Finland in August. In September, in his first ever ADP Challenger tournament, Ruud managed to win the Copa Sevilla after beating Taro Daniel in the final. By winning on his debut Ruud became the fourth youngest to ever do so. In the tournament, he recorded his first wins over players ranked in the top 150. He knocked out top seed Inigo Cervantes in the quarterfinals, who at the time was ranked number 75 in the ADP rankings. Due to his win in his challenger debut, Rude received a wild card to the 2016 Chengdu Open, his first ADP World Tour 250 Series tournament. Rude lost to Victor Troicki in the first round. Rude also qualified for the ITF Junior Masters, where he reached the final, losing to Hong Song Chan. Root finished 2016 with a career high ranking of number 225 in the ADP rankings. 2017, ADP 500 semifinals and top 150. After impressing in 2016 and climbing the ADP ranking, Root lost in the third and final qualifying round of the 2017 Australian Open to Riley Opelka. Rude then received a wild card into the ADP 500 event 2017 Rio Open where he defeated Rodrigo Dutra Silva, Roberto Carbales Bina, and Thiago Monteiro to advance to his first ADP level semi final. This made him the youngest to reach an ADP 500 semi final since Borna Korik at the 2014 Swiss Indoors. Rude was defeated by Pablo Carreno Busta in the semifinals but reached a career high ranking of number 133. Rude received a wild card into the 2017 Miami Open, marking his first appearance at an ADP Masters 1000 tournament. 2018 Major Debuts In 2018, Rood qualified for his first Grand Slam at the Australian Open after going through the qualifying competition. This made him the first Norwegian to qualify for a Grand Slam main draw in 17 years. He won in the first round against Quinton Halles before losing to Diego Schwartzman in the second round. He would lose to Schwartzman again at the Rio Open. Later on in the season he showed continuous good form and reached two ADP Challenger Finals in two weeks. 
the first one he lost against Italian Gianluigi Quinzi in Francavilla Almer and then he lost to Pedro Souza in the Braga Open two weeks later. A few weeks later Ruud continued his good form and qualified for the main draw of the French Open for the first time after going through the qualifiers without losing a set. In the first round he defeated Jordan Thompson to match his achievement at the Australian Open. He lost to Albert Ramos Vanolas in the second round. In July he achieved the biggest win of his career thus far when he beat defending champion and former world number no. 3, David Ferrer in straight sets at the 2018 Swedish Open. Later that year Ruud qualified for the US Open for the first time, going through the qualifiers without dropping a set. He lost to Guido Pella in the first round. After struggling with finding consistency in his form after the summer, Ruud finished off the 2018 season by reaching the semi-final of three consecutive challenger tournaments, which brought him close to his career-high ADP ranking going into a new season at number 112. 2019, Top 100 and Next Gen ADP Finals In the 2019 season, Ruud lost in the first qualifying round at the Australian Open, but qualified for the Rio Open and won against Carlos Spurlock and fifth seed Jao Souza before losing to Laszlo Air in two sets. The result saw him climb to a tied career-high ranking of 108. The following week he reached the semi-final of the Brazil Open, beating Thiago Monteiro, top seed Jao Souza and Hugo Delian before losing to Christian Guerin in two sets. The result meant that Ruud climbed inside the top 100 on the ADP rankings for the first time of his career the following week with a ranking of number 94 becoming the first Norwegian to do so since his father, Christian Ruud, in December 1994. In April, at the US Clay Court Championships, Ruud reached his first ever ADP Tour level final. In the final he lost to Christian Guerin though his result meant that he equaled his father Christian Ruud in reaching the final of an ADP Tour event, being the only two Norwegians to do so. At the Italian Open, Ruud won his first match in an ADP Tour Masters 1000 tournament. After coming through the qualifiers he went on to beat Dan Evans and Nick Kyrgios before losing in the third round to Juan Martin Del Potro in straight sets. At the French Open, Ruud beat Ernest Skulbis and 29th seed Matteo Berrettini before losing in straight sets against Roger Federer in the third round. Ruud also reached the second round at the doubles event alongside Maya Merkmanovic after knocking out former winners and 12th seed Ivan Dodig and Edouard Roger Vasselin before losing in three sets to Federico Dolbanese and Guillermo Duran. In July, Ruud played his first Wimbledon Championships losing in the first round to ninth seed John Isner. At the Kitzbühel Open Ruud made it to the semifinals after beating Pablo Carreno Busta, Matthias Backinger and Pablo Cuevas before losing to Albert Ramos Vanolas. At the 2019 US Open, Ruud once again teamed up with Maya Merkmanovic in doubles. They made it to the third round after eliminating third seeds Raven Clausen and Michael Venus in the second round. At this St. Petersburg Open, he made the quarterfinals before losing in three sets to Borna Korik. After his best season so far, Ruud qualified for the 2019 Next Generation ADP Finals where he got knocked out in the round robin. 2020, first ADP title and top 25. At the 2020 ADP Cup Ruud led Norway to a 2-1 victory over the US team in the first round-robin match by beating John Isner in three tight sets, before teaming up with Viktor Durasovic to beat Austin Krajicek and Rajiv Ram in doubles. In the second round-robin singles match, Ruud beat world number 12, Fabio Fognini, in straight sets. In February, Ruud made his way to the final of the Argentina Open where he defeated Pedro Sousa in the final, thus becoming the first tennis player from Norway to win an ADP Tour title and also appear in more than one ADP Tour final. At the same time he surpassed his father Christian's ranking of number 39 on the ADP ranking, 
setting a new record as the highest ranked Norwegian player in ADP history with a ranking of number 34 the following week on February 17, 2020. Two weeks after his first title, Rude reached his second final in a month at the Chile Open but lost in three sets against Thiago Sebeth Wild. At the US Open, he reached the third round after defeating Mackenzie McDonald in a five-set match in the first round. In the second round he faced Emil Ruisovori, who retired in the third set. Rude moved to the third round but was defeated in straight sets by Matteo Berrettini. At the Italian Open, Rude notched four match wins, including a quarter-final victory over top-10 player Matteo Berrettini, to reach that tournament's semi-finals as the first-ever Norwegian once again surpassing the record of his father Christian Rude who reached the quarterfinals of Monte Carlo in 1997. Kasper then lost in two sets to Novak Djokovic in the semifinals. The result sent him up to a new career high of number 30 the following week. Another semi-final at the 2020 Hamburg European Open the following week sent him up to number 25 in the rankings. At the French Open, Rude once again reached the third round where was then beaten by Dominic Thiem. 2021, five titles and top ten. At the Australian Open, Rude progressed to the fourth round in a major for the first time. He beat Jordan Thompson, Tommy Paul and Radu Albert before retiring against Andrei Rublev, after losing the first two sets. The result equaled his father's best placement at the Australian Open in a major. Root re-entered the top 25 to a career-high ranking of number 24, on February 22, 2021. A few weeks later, he reached the quarterfinals at Acapulco but once again withdrew due to injury before his match against Alexander Zverev started. On his debut at the Monte Carlo Masters, Root recorded his second top 10 win after beating Diego Schwartzman, in straight sets in the second round. He then defeated Pablo Carreno Busta and defending champion Fabio Fognini to reach his second Masters 1000 semi-final, where he lost to Andrei Rublev. At the BMW Open, Rude reached the semi-finals before losing in straight sets to Nicolas Basilashvili. At the Madrid Open in another debut, Rude recorded his first top five win in the third round by defeating Stefanos Tsitsipas in straight sets. He went on to record a straight sets victory in the quarterfinals over Alexander Bublik to reach his third straight ADP Masters 1000 semi-final on clay. He lost his semi-final match to Matteo Berrettini. Due to his performance in Madrid, Rude entered the top 20 for the first time in his career, rising to a new career high ranking of number 16 on May 10, 2021. At the Geneva Open. Rude reached his fourth consecutive semi-final on the ADP Tour and then reached his first final of the year and fourth final in his career, after defeating Pablo Andujar in straight sets. He defeated Denis Shapovalov in straight sets to win his second ADP title. At Wimbledon, Rude and his partner Andrei Goransson made the quarterfinals of the men's doubles tournament. As a result he climbed to a career high in doubles of world number 133 on July 12, 2021. At the Swedish Open, Rude won his second title of the year and third in total after beating Federico Coria in the final. The following week, Rude won his third title of 2021 with victory at the Swiss Open, beating Hugo Gaston in the final. Rude would then claim victory a week later in Kitzbühel, defeating Pedro Martinez in the final, to win his fourth title of the season and fifth of his career. As a result, Rude moved up to a new career high of number 12 on August 2, 2021. He became the first ADP player since Andy Murray in October 2011 to win three titles in as many weeks. His winning streak ended at the Canada Masters when he was defeated in the quarterfinals by Stefanos Tsitsipas. Nevertheless, he reached a new career high of world number 11 on August 16, 2021. The following week he entered another Masters 1000 quarterfinal at the 2021 Cincinnati Masters but lost to Alexander Zverev in straight sets. On September 13, Rude reached the number 10 ranking in the world, 
becoming a top 10 player for the first time and the first Norwegian player to accomplish this feat. At 22, he was also the youngest player in the top 10. At the end of September, Rude was selected to play the 2021 Laver Cup for Team Europe. He won the first match of the tournament against Riley Opelka in a tournament Team Europe went on to win 14-1. At the start of October, Rude won his first ever hardcourt tournament and his fifth tour leading tournament of the year at the San Diego Open. He defeated Andy Murray, Lorenzo Sonigo, Grigor Dimitrov, and in the final Cameron Nori in two sets in 62 minutes. Rude began his Rolex Paris Masters run by defeating Alexander Bublik in straight sets. His third round victory over Marcos Giron confirmed Rude's spot at the ADP finals where he made his debut at the year-end championships. At the ADP finals, Rude reached the semi-finals after losing to Novak Djokovic before beating Cameron Nori and Andriy Rublev in the round robin. In the semi-final Rude lost in straight sets to Daniel Medvedev. Rude finished the year as world number 8 in the singles rankings. 2022, French and US Open finals, and world number 2. Rude was drawn to play Alex Mullen on the first round in Australian Open, however, he withdrew due to an ankle injury sustained during the practice. Shortly after his recovery, he entered the Argentina Open at which he defeated Diego Schwartzman in the final and clinched his seventh career ADP singles title. He reached his fourth Masters 1000 semi-final at the Miami Open by defeating Henri Loxanen, Alexander Bublik, and Cameron Norrie and later earning his first win against world number 4, Alexander Zverev, in the quarter-final. Rude then defeated Francisco Serundolo in the semi-finals to advance to his first Masters 1000 final. In the final he lost to 18-year-old Carlos Alcaraz in straight sets. Following this result, Rude reached a career-high ranking of number 7 in the world on April 4, 2022. At the Italian Open, Rude reached the semifinals by defeating 13th seed Denis Shapovalov before losing to world number one, Novak Djokovic. He next defended his title at the Geneva Open, defeating Jao Souza in the longest championship match of the season in both time and games. He became the sixth player to win multiple tour level titles in 2022. At the French Open, Rude defeated Joe Wilfried Tsonga who was playing his last professional match, Emil Ruasovori, Lorenzo Sonigo, and 12th seed Hubert Hercax to advance to his first ever major quarter-final, becoming the first Norwegian to reach the fourth round and beyond at this major. In the first All-Scandinavian French Open quarter-final, he defeated Holger Rune to set up a match with also first-time Roland Garros semi-finalist Marin Illy. He reached the final with a four-sets win over Silic and became the first Norwegian man in history to reach a Grand Slam final. He fell in straight sets to Rafael Nadal, but as a result of his performance he moved to a new career-high singles ranking of world number 6 on June 6, 2022 and to world number 5 a week later. At the Wimbledon Championships, he recorded his maiden win at this major defeating Albert Ramos Vanolas and also his 150th career win. In July, Rude won the Swiss Open Gestad for the second year in a row and his ninth ADP title overall, after defeating Matteo Berrettini in the final, improving his tour level. Record in Switzerland to 16-0. At the Canadian Open, Rude defeated Felix Augureli Asame in the quarterfinals. In the semifinals, he lost to Hubert Hercax in a three sets, but switched back to world number five. At the Cincinnati Masters, Rude was stunned by University of Florida sophomore Ben Shelton in the second round. At the U.S. Open, Rude was one of five players in the draw with a shot at the world number one ranking. He reached the fourth round by defeating Kyle Edmund, Tim Van Rijthoven, and Tommy Paul. His third round match with Paul went five sets and lasted almost four and a half hours. He then defeated lucky loser Corentin Mutet. 13th seed Matteo Berrettini, the latter in straight sets, to make his second major semi-final appearance. 
he went on to defeat 27th seed Karen K. Kanov to reach his second major final. He lost to the third seed Carlos Alcaraz in the final in four sets. As a result, he climbed to a new career high ranking of world number two on September 12, 2022. National Representation Davis Cup He became a part of the Norwegian Davis Cup team in 2015, and together with countryman Viktor Durasovic promoted Norway from Group 3 Europe Zone to Group 2 Europe slash Africa Zone. In the 2016 Davis Cup, Rude and Durasovic lost 3 2 to Lithuania in the first round. In the playoffs they beat Luxembourg 3-2 to stay in the Group 2 Europe-Africa zone. Norway remained in Group 2 Europe-Africa zone in 2017 and 2018 before winning their 2019 tie against Georgia, securing them a place in the playoff for World Group I as a result of changes in the Davis Cup format. They won the playoff against Barbados and thereby qualified for World Group I. Personal life Root is the son of former professional tennis player Christian Root. He has two sisters, Caroline and Charlotte. He grew up in the Snurya district of Barham, with Rafael Nadal as his tennis idol. Career statistics Grand Slam tournament performance timelines Current through the 2022 U.S. Open Singles Doubles Significant Finals Grand Slam Tournament Finals Singles, 2